What's on today? Jazz prepared for life-changing bottom surgery. That sounds interesting. Let's give that a watch. I'll have to tell Wishbone about this. He could use butt surgery after the party he's taken. Hey guys, who's hungry? Me. I'm hungry. This is Jazz's last meal before the prep. Though I wouldn't be eating too much. Prepare to hold your lunch in, guys. This could get weird. So Jazz, artist wise, have this vision in your mind, the most beautiful vagina that was no, ever created. I don't need it to be beautiful. I just don't want it to be crazy ugly. Holy shit! They dug on Nancy Reagan's corpse to do a reality TV show! That's sick! And a little kinky. Oh, yeah. I'm worried that I'm gonna be like, this is ugly. Yeah, but aren't you happier with that than what you have now? Yeah, of course. I just know, like, I kind of have an artist's eye, so if I see something crooked, I'm gonna be like, that's crooked, this looks weird, what is this? Oh, wait. Is bottom surgery mean pussy surgery? Does she have a sleeve like a wizard? I've seen that on Pornhub. Some of those women have these pretty flappy vaginas. <laughs> you could try just tucking it all back in and shoving it in there and shit. That's what Farmer Calvin does whenever he steps on one of them. Just shove that shit back inside. Bury it deep, deep inside. Sort of like your own inner morals. You just gotta bury them. I feel like there's no real vagina. They're just like, oh, this is the vagina. Everyone's just different, and I feel like no matter what, it's gonna be fine because she's gonna just have a vagina at the end of the day, and that's all she's wanted. How about I show you mine? And then you can decide. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a conversation with another woman about how beautiful my vagina is over her vagina. What the fuck am I watching? I'm looking forward to the day where Jazz's vagina isn't always the main topic of discussion. I hope one day it's just natural that Jazz has a vagina and we're just all happy for it. This has got to be torture for the young man. Constantly having to hear about your sister's deformed all all the time. I think I would have just thrown myself headfirst into a wood chipper if this was a conversation we were having every time we went out to eat. I have a hard enough time keeping my food down as it is. Much less having to hear about my sister's pussy issues. I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat the fact that she has depression. If she has it, we have to always be aware of that. I certainly hope that after the surgery, she'll be happier. She suffers from depression, and maybe some of this depression will be alleviated. Perhaps she will overall just be a happier person and have less of the blues. You know, crossing fingers and toes, it works out that way, but there's no guarantee. Forgive me for my ignorance, but just maybe! Just maybe, you should contact a doctor about the depression and get some professional advice before we cut her private area. If a person cuts themselves, they have some serious, serious issues. What does it mean when you want to cut your own fucking private? We're getting into some pretty dark territory here. Your hormonal dynamic is going to be different. We don't know till it happens, honestly. I know her hormones are going to be fiddled with now, and it is common for people that have this surgery to be depressed afterwards. And what about somebody that already has depression? So it's a major concern of mine. Hormonal differences? How is her hormone differences going to be changing after a pussy talk? And honestly, like Dead Nancy Reagan said, who gives a shit what your pussy looks like? So long as it doesn't stink like an old sunbaked rotten fish that also has herpes. Have a little self-respect for yourself. I don't know if after the surgery, I could come out of the surgery as a totally different person, like I said, or I could come out as the same jazz, just with a new body part. New body part? Wait. Are we talking about? I don't think surgery is a total panacea for jazz. This woman scares the fuck out of me. We to have these incredible doctors, two who know what the trans experience is about and know what Jess is feeling, to be in the room with her. I mean, that, that's positive energy, and I know she believes in that, so this is good mojo for Jess. Oh, fuck! She ain't getting the pipe cleaning! She's getting the pipe fitting! Man, you humans! You guys do some weird shit! When I was two years old, I had a dream of the good fairy coming to change my penis into a vagina. Today that's finally 
be happening, and I feel like, you know, Dr. Marcy Bowers is the good fairy, and now my dream is coming true. When I was two months old, I had a dream too. It was a dark place. They stripped me of all my feathers, rubbed me down in butter, stuffed me with vegetables, and put me in a warm oven for about four hours. I could still hear the beeping. Oh shit! My chicken tenders are done! Oh god! Oh shit! It's downstairs! Oh fuck! Hey Mouse! What are you doing down here? What's all the chicken tenders? You do They're nice! I really like the chicken tenders! I'll put them in the oven! I don't care if you did put them in the goddamn oven! They're mine now! Fuck all! There are no words to describe how incredible this moment is. I feel like I have been envisioning this day my entire life, and now it is finally happening, and it is just so surreal that it's all occurring right here, right now. Now it's time. Am I the only one that finds this kind of fucked up? I get it. You don't like who you are. I don't know too many people who do. We all have these types of identity issues. I'm a puppet, for Christ's sakes. But maybe you should love who you are, regardless of the body parts you do or don't have. Ah, fuck it. Let's cut this bitch off. Oh, fuck. And I do feel like there's been a lot of bumps in the road. Doesn't that make her into a freak? You may as well kill yourself back where I come from trying to stay in school and your condition. And he has a... He has a... It's a male. It's disgusting. I can't speak to the comments here. What these people said was pretty reprehensible. But let's not kid ourselves and try to think that this is in any way normal. You're cutting your dick off. And balls too. That's pretty fucking weird. Actually, she's got the exact opposite. She's losing it. Get it? She, she's losing it? Because she's... Getting it. You get it. Oh, what am I talking about? Be strong there, right? Yeah. You don't need to tell her that. She's gonna be. I've always thought of Jazz as my sister, and I've always loved Jazz as if she's my sister. And it's just gonna feel really good to see her happy. And to see how happy she can be now that she finally has the body that matches her brain. Alright, let's do this. You know, I honestly hope the best for Jazz. If this helps make her feel better, and feel more in touch with who she is, then so be it. That's great. It's the beauty of being in a free country. But I can't help but think there's something more going on here that isn't being talked about. Jazz has some serious mental issues, and sadly, I doubt any form of surgery is going to fix that. Now I have to get going. I'm getting a Tommy Tuck. Later, ladies and genitals. Ow! Hey, Burner! Where are you, you fucker? <laughs>